Welcome back, everybody, to another exciting episode of Ark Survival Evolved from us in Naked Dino Man server. I do believe that this is episode number eight. And today on episode number eight, we're going to do a few things. We're going to go over some building I've done off camera, some uh, construction underway over there on our tower that we're going to move into sooner or later, once it's big enough. It's actually, it just passed the height of this starter shack tower. So it is definitely coming along. Uh, we're going to go swimming. We're going to make a fabricator. I want to make some more advanced items and also making stuff from the fabricator that are a higher level item. You get a lot more experience that way. So it's good for leveling. A lot of people like to spam crafting thousands of narcotics. That's really not very effective once you get to a higher level because they don't give very much per. So if you want to level up, craft higher level stuff. And we do need to level up so we can get a Quetzalcoatlus so we can start carrying around uh, mammoths and other things that will need to be carried up into our tower. I tamed another critter. We have, uh, we got a playmate for Tater Tot. We now have Hash Browns and Hash Browns level it up. Hash Browns is an amphibian that's extremely tricksy. I don't actually know what the level, I guess movement speed, even though I'm only getting 1%. Uh, Hash Brown is an amphibian, a really good starter swimming mount because uh, it's got an oxygen tank doesn't actually consume oxygen herself but when you're on it um you can consume that oxygen so it it basically you can swim around underwater without needing a scuba tank or until you can craft a scuba tank so we're gonna take her for a run try to get some oil and some pearls and that kind of stuff let me show you uh some of the stuff i've made got a new expansion on the tower we're starting to bulge out on this side Every time we go up, want to make it a little bit weirder, a little bit bigger. And uh, kind of starting... It looks a little bit like a mammoth. Or not a mammoth, a uh, walrus. Looks like a walrus with a couple tusks. Uh, but what we need to do... We need to get some oil. We need to make gasoline. I want to make a fabricator. Uh, one thing we can make with fabricator, we can make transponders. We can make transponder nodes so we can track our, our animals when they get lost. If I die on a bird and it's stuck somewhere we can use that to track them we can also make like uh, long nose rifles we can make all kinds of stuff We're going to also be able to make a refrigerator i guess we can go ahead and go it is daytime it's kind of rainy outside but that shouldn't matter once we get underwater we can make a refrigerator and a generator and we can start uh moving into the electric age use electric lights and with the generator and a refrigerator our food will last much longer which isn't, I guess it's not as big of a deal with the uh, the stack sizes we're using on the server. But it will definitely be nice. It'll be useful in some circumstances. Okay, drop you right there. So oxygen, uh, these guys don't require saddle. I, I keep calling it oxygen because it's the biggest label <laughs> on the animal. Let me make sure you are in, yeah, you're still in neutral. So if something attacks you somehow, you can defend yourself. Uh, oxygen, you can only mount uh, these creatures. I keep calling you Oxygen. Your name is not Oxygen. It's Hash Browns. Okay, Hash Browns, come here. You can only mount them, get on them to ride them when... Oh, great. I think you jumped off the wrong side, you idiot. They don't have a very fast turning radius in the uh, on the ground. It's fine. Just, we'll get on here. I'm trying to... Oh, that's right. And uh, taking Oxygen is the default. So if you need to get on in a hurry... We could run into trouble, like if I am... There's a shack, there's another shack. If I am uh, trying to harvest oil and we get attacked, and uh, I have to get back on my animal extremely quickly, could be troublesome. Let's see what we can do. The underwater area is extremely dangerous. Stuff can sneak up on you. You have to always be vigilant. And there's always the oxygen problem. And when you do die, uh, getting back to your body can be pretty hard. Especially since I, I only have one aquatic mount right now. We would like to tame some more eventually. But I only have one. So if uh, if I die down here, um, we're going to probably just lose everything, more or less. Okay, so let's go into the inventory. Let's drop the stone. We just want the oil. We want to also dive to get some pearls to make some uh, electronics. Electronics are great for leveling. Okay. Ba-doom, ba-doom, ba-doom. Okay, so this is how you get oil. If you didn't know, if you uh, haven't gone underwater, 
I really do like exploring around underwater. I feel it's very immersive. Okay, let's go down here. Let's get some pearls. And watch out for some predators. Here's another oil node. I guess we can grab this one. And always, always check your surroundings before jumping off your animal. I have leveled up the health on this creature a bit, but I haven't been really attacked yet. So I'm not totally sure how well we'll do. And I've heard tell horror stories about the eels in this game. I have yet to encounter any eels. I don't even know what they look like. Or how to avoid... Whoa! Holy crap! See what I mean? Sneaking up on you! <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Never let your guard down. Always look around before you get off. I That creature was ginormous, and it snuck right up on me. Holy crap. Thankfully, those guys... They do not, uh, they, they stick to the deep water. So if, if you can run away from them, just swim up. You should be okay. <laughs> now my pulse is racing. Okay, let's be careful. There's a shark over there, but they're not super fast. Oh my goodness. Yeah, be careful. Be careful. Did you take down the health? It looks... I don't even know if... Uh, maybe he got, like, one swipe off on us. But if I hadn't been painted... Oh, sorry! Oh, I'm kind of stuck. Oh, oh no, this is not good. Okay, let's just... Let's do this. <laughs> I just pickaxed my animal. Sorry about that, hash browns. Okay, here we go. Uh, all right, so now let's try to get some pearls. Let's see how much oil I've just picked up. We just got, uh, like, 900 oil. That's decent enough. Want to make some gasoline to fuel our fabricator. We will need some pearls to make electronics. And let's look around before we do anything. See, what's that over there? I see something behind... Oh, that's a squid. I haven't actually seen one of these. You have to be like... Oh my... It's an alpha squid? Oh my god. Can I use this thing underwater? Yeah, you need to be really careful down here. I can't see it through that. Let's see if we can snag some pearls without attracting its attention. You have to be, I think, like almost like level 100 or a very high level anyway to um, these... What is? What did I just see? These are not the pearls we're looking for. We need like the, the they kind of sparkle. These things are just a coral reef. We need to be a very high level to make the saddle for the squid. It is a uh, like an uber mount. It's like the Gigantosaurus of the depths. And and they did recently nerf the eels, but they're probably still dangerous. I don't know what they look like or where to find them. So I'm a little bit worried about grabbing these pearls in the middle of all these, all this seaweed. Okay, we're gonna be careful. Okay, here we go. And you just grab it with your hand like you're uh, harvesting soil. Okay, let's try to get a few of these. And then we're out of here. This is, my spider sense is definitely tingling. Super hard. I'm a bit far from my fish. Let's grab this one and go. Oh, you following me. Okay, that's good. All right, we're out. We're out. How many did we get? We got uh, 155. That's good enough for now. We need to make uh, just a few basic items. That should be good. If we need more, we shall come back. All right, back at the base. Save and sound. To make gasoline, you need to use hide and oil in a uh, one of these guys. So I've already got the first two loaded up from uh, when I first got the fish. We'll do that. We'll just put a uh, selection in each of these. Uh, I don't need a ton, but we may as well craft up some now. They don't need that much raw oil. I don't think... Oh, no, not the silica pearls. We want that. Okay, give me like half of that back, half of that. We also need to smelt up more of this metal. And we are starting to get low with all this stuff on me crap. We'll have to uh, make another supply run soon. Let's just turn them all on because the other ones have uh, metal ore. I've had this strange graphical bug for a while. And uh, people said, uh, why don't you try updating your graphics drivers? I did that. It didn't help. It seemed to help for like a minute. And then it uh, went back to doing that. 
Don't know exactly why that's happening. Kind of wish it didn't. Oh, well. Uh, I think I did already have a little bit... Cra yeah, I did a little bit before. When I first got the fish, I did a brief run just to test it out. Um, I keep calling it a fish. I just like I call every... Everything that flies, I call a bird. It's not technically a fish, I realize. Uh, okay, so that's going to be crafting up, uh, smelting that stuff up. Let's take Biscuit here, an actual bird, a very large bird, over here to uh, the tower, and we're going to craft stuff. I don't really have room for a fabricator and a generator and a refrigerator and all that stuff. In Oh, God! Oh, I didn't die. Okay, I sort of missed that landing. Hey, Biscuit! Oh, you can see me from here, thank goodness. Holy moly. <laughs> um, all right, great. They also, in a recent patch, I think the patch that came out today, they increased the range at which you can jump on your bird from. Uh, specifically for when you get knocked off your bird in the water, but I guess that helps in that instance as well. Ooh, didn't die. All right, so we want to put uh, the pearls in here, I think. I guess we'll have to transfer some of this stuff to the fabricator once we make it. Let's go into the engram list. And let's just learn a bunch of stuff. So we want uh, the fabricator. And the, we want to use the S plus one, of course, whenever we can. Then we want uh, polymer, I guess, even though we're going to go kill some penguins to get the free stuff that expires. And electronics. There we go. Uh, I guess there's no S plus version of those because you don't actually place them. We probably... Um, I'm not sure if we need... I, I'm going to need this eventually, so let's go ahead and get this now. Okay, what do you need? You need electrical generator. Okay, we want that as well. Straight cable. Um, then we want a just the vertical cable. And an S plus straight cable. S plus vertical cable. S plus generator. Uh, electrical outlet we don't care about right now. We also want the transponders. So we want the... Oh, wait, hang on. Cancel. What is it? What's the prerequisite? GPS. Oh, yeah, we'll uh, learn that as well. Probably make one of those. And then we also want the transponder node, which will let us track our animal. All right, sweet. So let's see. Um, fabricator is probably going to be under electrical. No. Crafting. Yes. Okay, we want the S plus fabricator. Make me just one. This runs on gasoline, and uh, the S plus one might be able to run on electricity too. I'm not exactly sure. The S plus stuff is slightly different than the vanilla stuff in some regards. There we go. It is fairly large. Uh, probably gonna put it here because this section, this corner is m mostly done. We still have some detail work to do, but we have some extra space. Uh, okay, let's go into the inventory. And then I guess we need to transfer a bunch of stuff over as well as some gasoline. All right, transferred a bunch of stuff. I went to get some more pearls, got some more gasoline crafted. Uh, almost got murdered by that alpha squid when I went back down there. Kind of a big mistake. Uh, okay, let's turn the sucker on. Oh, it's not noisy. Used to make a ton of noise. I wonder if that's because it's the S Plus Fabricator. I kind of... was. It's a giant machine. You'd think it would make noise. How do I change that? Um, so probably the first thing we can make with all of our pearls, we can make a bunch of... A uh, bunch of these guys. Let's just go ahead and make... 300, I guess. And we're going to need that to make some other stuff. So to make these, we need the polymer and electronics. What else are we missing? Yeah, just those two things, looks like. For structures, we've got the refrigerator. It needs both of those. And then for the electrical cable, we can go ahead and make a few of these. I don't know if we'll actually need those. I'm wondering if this will snap directly to our refrigerator. I suppose we can hook it up with some power. Uh, and then we'll just want uh, one generator for our base for when we need that. Uh, later on, we'll make some lights. But we're making electronics now, and we the other thing we need is a bunch of polymer. We could make it out of cementing paste and obsidian, or we can head over to the snowy regions and murder us up some penguins. All right, here we go. A little bit of a penguin snack. 
to get some organic polymer. We've got a uh, pretty decent harvest rate on the server. Got 25 from that guy. Is this a... Did somebody put a chest down here? What is this? Oh, no, this is one of those little experience chests. Okay, I want to specifically get those when I want to craft a bunch of stuff. They give you an experience boost. There's only so many of them across the island, although there are a lot. I want to save them. Uh, but the, the, the real limiting factor for harvesting the organic polymer used to be the stack size, because they would stack to 30 and they would spoil uh, for every, one of them every half hour. But with our extended stack size... Oh, did I run out of stamina? Oops. With their extent... Let's go get in the sunlight, buddy, because I am cold. The, the larger stack size means that it's more viable to grab them now, and we might just be able to stick them in our refrigerator once I've made it. We'll see what that does to the... Uh, how long they last. Might be viable to get them in bulk. Previously, I would just get a bunch when I wanted... Uh, when I wanted to craft a bunch of stuff. But now we might be able to do a little bit more. Let's see, I'm losing 0.1... Here and there. So we can hang out here a little bit, but not forever. Oh, here's another penguin. Okay, little penguin snack. Mmm. Oh, I missed. Okay, mmm. Get him. Mmm. Yum, yum. Yeah, people have been losing animals on this server from uh, lag spikes here and there. That's why my policy is don't get attached to anything in this game. Build a tower, put all your stuff in the tower, but don't carry anything valuable. Don't take anything valuable. No wares. Because it's all going to die. It's all going to die in this game. All right, back from the journey from the, uh, the frozen waste. Let's see what we can craft now with our organic polymer. I have almost 600. We come back to about 300 of that. Uh, lots of that. All right, so I guess we'll just go through. We don't need any more compasses. Oh, no, we do need... I already made 300 of those. That's probably good. I thought I stole it to make 300. What did we run out of? Silica pearls, metal, ingots. Why did it stop crafting? I'm not sure. Uh, okay, navigation. We want... Let's go ahead and make a GPS. Why not? We will make a transponder tracker. And then let's just make two of those for now. See how far my resources take. Me... Okay, we want a uh, one refrigerator just to get going, just to start. I don't, don't even know if I'm going to use it right off the bat. And a generator, which we've already made. Oh, okay, so then we've got lots of stuff left. I guess then that we can back up here again. And uh, make a few more of these con c transponder tracker guys. Uh, these guys are awesome. So where is the tracker? Tracker's right there. Oh, they, they don't go in your bar, do they? That's right. Okay, so here is the tracker. And you've got to, I think, like, right-click? No, left-click? There we go. Okay, that does not look properly attached. But now when we right-click our thing, and there is a cooldown, I believe. Yeah, it'll show that uh, our animal is a certain distance away. And that should... Uh, I don't remember the exact range that those have, but it's pretty darn far. Awesome. I haven't really lost an animal in a while, but it's probably bound to happen. We can place this and this. I want to see how long this organic polymer will last in the, in the fridge. So I suppose we'll put this down somewhere. Oops. I right click. Let's put the fridge down first. Right now, let's just put the fridge... We can move these around because they're S+. plus. So I guess I'll put it, like, right here. Nice. And then I'm wondering if the, um... The generator will just snap to it, or do we have to use a cable? Looks like we have to use a cable. And I left that... Okay, I left that over here. Why is it not snapping to that? Um, oh, that's right. We only need stuff in proximity. That's right. Okay, so maybe the generator just needs to be close. It's been a while since I hooked up an electrical system in this game, so I kind of forget how it works. Okay, there is the generator, and... Does not seem like we can pick it up. Why can't I pick you up? Unlock access inventory. 
Did I make the wrong one? Let's see. Navigation. Structures. This is the... Oh. Oh, I did make the wrong one. I didn't make the S plus one. Maybe we have to make that here. Because uh, the S plus one didn't even show up there. Electrical. S plus, yes. Okay. Um, and did I make the wrong refrigerator as well? Huh, I just sort of assumed. It appears that we did. Great. All right. Well, it's whatever. It's fine. It's not that big a deal in the long run. At least I learned my lesson now. I only made one of each instead of like ten of each right off the bat. Put some gasoline in you. Turn you on. Yeah, now you make a satisfying amount of noise. I wonder why this guy doesn't make any noise. And this guy says he is unpowered. Oh, here we go. Electrical outlets. Uh, outlet for an electrical grid when connected to a generator via cables. This provides power to all nearby devices. This is what we need. Okay, grabbing that guy. And then is there an S plus electrical cable? Right there. Or outlet. S plus electrical outlet. I'm assuming we have to place it or craft it here. So in inside electrical, we need uh, three electronics. All right, we can definitely do that. And then he should power up this guy. He might even power up this because this is S plus. I'm not exactly sure. We'll find out. Three of you. Okay, good and good and gum jumps. Uh, I guess we're going to be crafting a lot of stuff from here and not the fabricator, which is kind of unfortunate. Because the fabricator is this big, cool machine. It's fun to craft things in a big, cool machine. All right. So, here we go. We should be in business now. Bam! That's right. And then it uh, it automatically, procedurally puts this cable, which uh, is one of the fun parts about routing this stuff, is trying to hide those. Now we're powered. All right. So, let's grab Mr... Organic polymer, which inside of here is spoiling like every 30 minutes, at least when it's on me, I think. Or when it's on my bird, it was. But inside here, it's not letting me put it in there. Oh, I can't refrigerate organic polymer. Really? Oh, okay. Well, then I guess we should probably uh, try to craft as much as, it, as we can. Can I put other stuff in here? Surely there's... Yeah, okay. So that's not the issue. So I suppose we should probably try to craft a bunch of stuff while I have it, before it spoils. Um, I wish I could select for things which require a certain ingredient. Polymer. Yeah, we should probably make more refrigerators, but I'm going to transfer these ingredients over to the, uh, the S-plus crafting station so we actually make the correct thing. Let's see, can I carry all this? Can't carry all that metal. Spark powder. Uh, but we will need to use the fabricator to make the non-S plus stuff. So the, the GPS, the transponder, the components, all that kind of stuff. is uh, It doesn't have an S plus equivalent. Okay, is that everything or am I still missing something? Electrical. S plus refrigerator. Okay, seven. I'm never going to need that many. That's more than I'll ever need. Uh, does this take polymer? No. Um, everything sh Everything I need that takes polymer... Should be around here somewhere. That doesn't take polymer. One thing we could do, maybe, is... Um, look up the industrial grill. Let's see, does that take polymer? Metal ingots, crystal, oil, cementing paste. No, it does not. Okay, never mind. So there are some other things that are made from the polymer, but unfortunately, uh, I'm not high enough level to make them. Stuff like uh, the rocket launcher, compound bow, assault rifle, all that kind of stuff. So I think it's just going to spoil, because uh, I don't have enough pearls to make more electronics, so we're that's what it's going to be. That's all we can do. So let's go ahead and turn it off. Kind of stinks we can't refrigerate polymer, but I understand why that's the case. Turn off. Turn off. 
Yeah, let's go, uh... Let's go put some of these transponders on our other animals so that uh, if they get lost, we can find them. That shall be nifty. Very useful. Although I do think there is a limited range. Okay, here we go. Kaplow! Where did it go? It's on your little foot. Okay. All the birds get one. Kaplow! And you are in the way, buddy. Thank you. Okay, we'll give you one. And you know what? When I am harvesting stuff, um, I die fairly frequently, so finding him would be good. How about we just we'll just give one to everybody? Why not? I made a bunch. That's all I could really make. And we are looks like about three quarters of the way to the next level, which will get us the the very important Quetzalcoatl saddle. We can start taming mammoths much more easily. Most of these guys I don't care too much about, but you are important. Kaplow! There you go. You got a transponder beacon. Where did it go? Okay, let's move you slightly. Maybe it's on your neck. Sometimes they go on the neck. I guess it, it's uh, dinosaur dependent. Depends on the species. Where's your transponder? Original recipe. I don't seize it. Did we successfully give uh, the right one? Yes, original recipe's name has popped up. You can see my birds way up there, far away. Their names have popped up. I do not see where it ended up, though. I guess maybe it's under your feathers. That's possible. Give you a level up. Uh, I guess we'll give you more damage, I suppose. Level 252. All right, uh, anyway, guys, I think that's about going to do it for this episode. We'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave your... This is a bit wonker. Can I, can I remove them? Let's see if I can remove this. There we... Okay, that's much better. Much better. Anyway, yeah. End of the episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments below. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.